Next major event coming up uh, just another week or so away, IndyCar returns. Open wheel racing belongs at Watkins Glen, and you've had some exciting races here in the past. Yeah, you, you know, I started I started that last year early that it belongs here, um, it, and it truly does. It's it, the, and they showed it. Look at what those drivers did last year. They set the North American speed record and one twenty four and change for three point four something miles. Uh, that's that's pretty fast. Um, and, and, but it, the way they handle this car, this track, the cornering, uh, I mean, the blip on the gas pedal going through the bus stop, it's just amazing to listen to those engines. And I think that's what the fans really enjoy here, is just the, the dynamic part and the engineering part of this racetrack that, again, our team had nothing to do with. That happened 50 years ago, um, 60, 70 years ago almost now, um, that they built, the, engineered this racetrack. So it, it's quite a feat what they accomplished, and these drivers get to experience the best. The IndyCar drivers, you know, we had Alexander Rossi here during the Cup weekend. Uh, we had James Hinchcliffe here last year during the NASCAR weekend. Um, they are so approachable. They walk down a crowd. They sign every autograph they can. Uh, it's amazing, you know, and that's why Watkins Glen, when you buy your ticket here, you have an open paddock. We insisted with IndyCar because a lot of racetracks are selling that as an addition um, to their ticket. And we said, no way, we got to, we kept it after IndyCar. I was like, let's keep that fan fan interaction open to everyone so we don't exclude anybody to the product they bring, which is bar none, one of the best. Speaking of fan amenities, the new. Uh Fan deck was a success during NASCAR weekend. Will that be available for IndyCar? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just a, it's an awesome place to view the race. Um, you sit down there, almost at the top of the S's or stand, and and you just get to watch product on the racetrack coming coming into one, gearing up into two, shifting into high gear, coming up the middle of the S's, and you can just hear each little blip of the gear shift going. And it's amazing to hear. It's amazing to watch that approach and the sight lines are bar none one of the best. When did the idea for the Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks come along? That's an interesting addition. <laughs> uh, it sounds like it might be a uh, three-mile demolition derby at Watkins Glen. Well, I, you know, it's not a demolition derby. These guys are out there competing really hard, and uh, we really look forward to it. I, um, it started um, ah, three months ago, maybe. Me and Robbie Gordon uh, go way back. I knew Robbie Gordon when his dad was supplying feed uh, to a horse track in Los Alamitos, California that I was a general manager at. So even before I was in car racing, I was in horse racing. And I knew Robbie coming up through the cart and then when he got into NASCAR and, and so on. So we've stayed in touch off and on through the years. He gave me a call and said, what do you think? And we just started talking and then um, us and IndyCar got together and said, why not do it? So, um, you know, it was Robbie making the phone call, so Robbie gets the credit. Um, I'll give IndyCar the second credit, and we were just kind of along for, let's give this a whirl. We think this is a pretty neat product. Well, filling up the, fan, the stands with the NASCAR weekend, what do we need to do to do the same thing with IndyCars? Because these drivers are approachable, as we talked about. Yeah, you know, I think it's a long run. I just think that, you know, there's still there's still the generation out there, and I'm in that generation of the split. You know, the early 1990s split when they when they went their opposite ways. And there's still some fans that just don't believe in the product. But I think, like a lot of fans like me, it didn't take too long to start seeing these stars. And, and I say, my personal opinion is, I think they have some of the best drivers they've ever had. You know, and, and yeah, Nigel was great back, and Mario was great, and Michael was great. Um, you know, Emerson, all these guys that were racing, Bobby Ray Hall, that were racing back in the heydays. I think we have that same crowd right now. I just think it's they're still in their building years, and IndyCar, I, they're going to get there. Their their product is is just stupendous. They run top notch. Their sanctioning officials are unbelievable. So it's, I think it's just a matter of time before we start filling up the grandstands like NASCAR. Okay, for fans out there looking for ticket info, we know 866-461-RACE, theglen.com. Absolutely. For a corporate sponsor who might be interested in the Glen Club or the party deck, who do they call? They call me. I mean, <laughs> no, you know, the, it, it's still the, the best way to get a hold of that is actually probably John Beckman, Jay Beckman at theglen.com. He'll take care of everything. He's our vice president, sees up all the, 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 the fan amenities that we do on the side. So, you know, there's a lot of those uh, atmospheres available still. So, um, you know, you can have a lot of fun hanging out in the Glen Club or, um, or some of the other uh, uh, hospitality that we have.